Hello friends, it's JJ and welcome back to Travel Tuesdays with Today with JJ. Today we're visiting the beautiful St. Lucia. Much of St. Lucia's activity happens on the West Coast and specifically in the Sufiri area. That's where you'll find the iconic pittons that visitors like to climb or Mount Sufiri, the pungent volcano that emits sulfuric steam. Nearby honeymooners like to snorkel in the transparent waters of Orange Chastanet. There's also plenty to do further north in the Rodney Bay area. That's where you'll find the lively Reduit Beach and Pigeon Island National Park. These are the 10 amazing things to do while in St. Lucia. Pigeon Island National Landmark. Pigeon Island appeals to an eclectic mix of travelers. You can get a history lesson about the landmark's previous occupant, including a pirate with a wooden leg, <laughs> or learn more about the formation of the man-made causeway that currently connects the island to the mainland. You could also attend a concert. This is the site of the annual St. Lucia Jazz and Art Festival, or explore the 18th century military ruins, including Fort Rodney, which affords panoramic views of the ocean and Rodney Bay. There are also two beaches and a few restaurants situated on the 44 acre national landmark. I highly recommend a trip to Pigeon Island. Many were fascinated by the history of the area with informational signs posted throughout the area. Others raved about Ford Rodney saying views at the end of the hike were magical. There are also some uncrowded beaches which many visitors enjoy. I recommend going early in the morning because the lack of visitors make it feel like you have the whole island to yourself. Reduit Beach. St. Lucia beaches are a dime a dozen, but none are quite as loved by travelers and locals alike as Reduit. The expansive shoreline, glorious sunsets, and close proximity to bars, restaurants, and shops of Rodney Bay make for an easygoing beach experience. Adjacent to the Rodney Bay Marina, Reduit is also a great place to try water sports like windsurfing and water skiing. Reduit Beach is known for its cleanliness, white sands, and clear water. Ends Chestnut. Arguably the best beach on St. Lucia for snorkeling and diving, the picturesque Anne's Chastanet is a more peaceful alternative to the sands of Reedaway Beach. If you're indecisive about lodging, you should consider the nearby resort of the same name, its attentive staff, and unspoiled views of the water. Even if you don't stay at the nearby resort, you can still use its on-site restaurant and drive shop or visit the on-site bar. Many who have ventured to Ange Chastanet for snorkeling said they were impressed by the clear water and were delighted by the abundance of sea life so close to the shore. Ains Mamain Jungle Biking. When you think of mountain biking, you probably don't think of the Caribbean, which would be a mistake. Thanks to St. Lucia's diverse terrain, it's actually become a destination for serious bikers who come to test their skills on the biking trails of St. Lucia's 12 miles of private trails. Located on the grounds of Ains Mamain, a former plantation, Bike St. Lucia has trails for literally everyone, including someone like me, who has never mountain biked before. Or, for professionals like Tinker Juarez, a champion bike racer who trained here. This is one of the best ways to get off the beaten path in St. Lucia and get deep into the rainforest. 
Rising tall from the sea and covered in emerald color vegetation, these volcanic plugs or land formations made out of volcanic materials are the most iconic sites of all of St. Lucia. Gross Piton and its smaller sibling, Petite Piton, are easy to spot from many points in the Southwest. Travelers frequently gush about just how perfect the fraternal Twin Peaks are to gaze at or hike through. Those who took the hike loved the beauty of the trails and said that the views from the top were breathtaking, with some describing their experience as unforgettable. Despite there being two peaks available for climbing, locals caution against hiking Petite Peaton, unless you are a pro climber as the trail is incredibly steep, but said that the sense of accomplishment in complimenting the hike was worth the journey. Whatever time of day you venture out, remember it is the humid, hot Caribbean, so bring plenty of drinking water. Diamond Falls Botanical Gardens. If you're tired of lounging on the beach, but not up for a hike through the Petons, then taking a few hours at Diamond Falls Botanical Garden is sure to be relaxing and an eye-catching compromise. This six acre attraction is filled to the brim with vibrant foliage, including hibiscus. The Diamond Falls waterfall is also a feast for the eyes changing colors throughout the year due to the mixture of the rainwater and volcanic minerals that flows down the falls. You can also take a dip in the on-site mineral baths, and there are also restaurants and a beautiful estate to visit as well. Recent visitors enjoyed their time at Diamond Falls Botanical Garden saying, the flowers and plants on display were beautiful, providing a refreshing view for a walk. I recommend exploring the site on your own, despite offers from guides at the entrance offering paid tours. Marigot Bay. There's a reason Hollywood comes calling to Marigot Bay. Scenes from the original Doolittle starring Rex Harrison and Firepower starring Sophia Loren were shot here. It's because this gorgeous shore just south of Castries along the central western coast is idyllic Caribbean, complete with swaying palm trees, anchored boats, and white sand beaches. Marigold Bay is romantic and it's true that it's more blissfully quiet than the jumping redo it, making for a great escape. Seeing Marigold Bay from the surrounding hills will leave you in awe. It's absolutely breathtaking. Sulphur Springs. Sulphur Springs is billed as having the Caribbean's only drive-in volcano, meaning that you're able to safely drive right by an active volcano. This belching mountain located in the western town of Sifiri emits sulfuric steam rather than lava. So remember to hold your nose to protect yourself from the overpowering rotten egg smell. The attraction also features warm sulfuric pools that you are allowed to bathe in. Some were fascinated by the volcano and the geological history. You'll love the sulfuric pools. It'll leave your skin feeling very smooth and the staff and guides are excellent. For those of you who are interested in visiting the pools, I recommend getting to the attraction early to avoid tour groups and bring a bathing suit that you don't mind getting ruined. The Castries Market has been the capital city's local food and flea market for over the last century. Open every day except for Sundays, locals gather to sell homegrown produce and spices as well as St. Lucia stamp souvenirs for tourists. 
You'll be delighted by your experience and enjoy interacting with the local vendors to buy unique items such as fresh coconut and handcrafted woodworks. Rodney Bay. Last but not least on the list, Rodney Bay is a sight to see. On the gross inlet northern end of St. Lucia, Rodney Bay is a tourist hub. Beach lovers can bask in the man-made crescent-shaped beach, and this is also where you'll find many St. Lucia resorts, restaurants, and shops. After dark, Rodney Bay Village turns into a hot spot for nightlife. Enclosed to the north by Pigeon Island National Park and to the south by Labourette Point, this sheltered bay is also a popular spot for mooring. The Rodney Bay Marina is one of the best equipped in the Eastern Caribbean with many water sports on offer. Impressive homes dot the hills surrounding the bay and St. Lucia's biggest shopping mall is in this area. You have made it to the end of the video. Well, I am super, super excited that you stayed till the end. And I hope this video was a lot of help. And to anyone who is very familiar with St. Lucia, if I have missed anything, please feel free to comment down below so anyone who's looking to go can find the details down below. And I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also wanted to thank you guys for getting us to 400 subbies. Road to 1,000, here we come. First, we need to hit 500. <laughs> well, thank you guys again so much. It's such a pleasure to make these videos every Tuesday. And until next Tuesday, take care of yourself. Bye.